Hi everyone, meteorologist Mike Mahalik here. It's a beautiful Tuesday afternoon out there. It is a little bit hazy though outside and that is what we're seeing outside of our WeatherWorks office here in Hackettstown, New Jersey. That's actually some smoke. So we're gonna show you that here on the satellite picture in one second. This is Tuesday, July 9th forecast. So we'll have that right after I get to this satellite picture. So check it out here, is that smoke? coming through the Great Lakes, through the upper atmosphere, and going over Pennsylvania and New Jersey. So that's why we're having some of those hazy skies. But for the most part, high pressure is in control. So we don't have any rain around the area, just a little pop-up shower there in West Virginia over the mountains. So that's pretty much the forecast for tonight here, guys. We're looking at mainly clear skies around the region, temperatures in the 70s for the major cities, but only around 60 degrees as you head further across the interior where it'll be a little bit cooler in those outlying areas. Now for your day tomorrow, still high pressure and control, a little bit warmer though. Look at 90 degrees starting to pop up around DC, Philadelphia, the Big Apple, even Hartford 9 degrees in Albany, but a little bit cooler here in Boston with that onshore flow from the sea breeze, so about 85 up there. There are a couple of showers that will be working in into tomorrow night here. Western Pennsylvania mostly here, out towards Pittsburgh, about 70 degrees. Could even be a rumble of thunder with those showers out there. But for the I-95 cities, we're looking dry once again tomorrow night. Just a little bit warmer in these big cities in the low 70s for the most part. Those outlying areas a little bit warmer too. And on Thursday, we'll certainly start to see that humidity creep up across the region. And later in the day, cold front moves in. We're looking at showers and thunderstorms. Some of these could be quite strong later in the day. So we'll keep an eye on that for sure. But before we finish up here, let's take a quick look at the tropics because we do have something developing here in the northern Gulf of Mexico, right along the Florida Panhandle. You can see a lot of thunderstorms developing here. The waters are very warm in the upper 80s for the most part in the northern Gulf. And this will be gliding to the west here over the next couple of days. And with that warm water and uh, favorable conditions, we could have tropical storm Barry developing once we get off of the Louisiana coastline here. And you'll see that on the GFS model as it comes across the northern Gulf, it does start to develop into a stronger storm just south of Louisiana. The place we're watching here is right along that uh, northern Gulf coast right there. I think the main effects from this storm will be the rainfall, but we really have to watch to see how strong this strengthens as we get later on in the week. We'll keep a close eye on that, but in the meantime, visit us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and all the other platforms, and as always, weatherworksinc.com.